Ricola. Remember those commercials? Been having trouble to sleep now for a couple of nights. Need to rebuild myself to come alive. It all makes sense now. Now that the lights out, it's a different world to me. It makes me feel down. Wait until the storm comes down. Okay, day two of the big one. Still got that big pile of leaves up there to back up. This big pile of leaves. Ryan's peeing on his truck. But we got both trucks, both trailers in here. And so we will vac this up and then we have all the area around the house, everything to still blow out. Of course, these have not fallen down. We got a real big frost last night. See this house, this is a guy that owns a local brewery. Very nice house, but I explained to you guys in one of the other ones the problem we were having with the vac, and this is what Ryan did. He shortened the tube up like we were talking about, redid the end on it, and he fixed what you found something wrong with the carb. The jets were screwed up in the carb or something. This wasn't adjusted properly. Oh, nothing was adjusted in there, and he fixed all that. So we're hoping for better success. And he put a flap on there because it was all hitting that 2x4 there and making it all fall down back out this way even with this mesh tarp on there. So hopefully that will direct it down and we'll resolve that. But anyway, I'm going to put a link in the description. They have a thing where you can donate for your birthday to what? It's St. Jude's, right? Uh, St. Jude's thing and you can uh, you can nominate your birthday for it and then people can donate and honor your birthday for St. Jude's But I will put a link in the description Ryan is doing that for his birthday So let's help him out even if you guys can only donate a buck or something every little bit helps out So anything helps for these young kids. Yeah, everything helps out So that is a very cool thing that he is doing and like I said I'll put a link down in the description and you can click on that and donate through there. So help us out Help us to help the kids. Can we ride in this moment? Can we ride? Nothing stopping us tonight. No. Not a single brain light in our side in our way. In our way. I'm the old passenger. You lead the way. You lead the way. I let you take the wheel of feeling so. Feel it. Not a single 
purpose. It's just now starting to rain on us and that trailer is just about full. We have my property that I put on the last, not the last video, a few videos ago. The one where this thing was smoking like crazy before we got it running right. Um, we have another pile down there because we went back there a couple days ago and vacked it up one more time made another pile. So we got to go suck that pile up. But uh, I'm not so sure we can fit that one in there. And uh, there might be too much in this trailer already. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go dump this. And then that way I can get rid of the trailer here with the mowers on it. I can back it inside the barn. The... Uh, Turn you around real quick. Um, the seat on the seat on the walker on the MT is not waterproof. It's like it's like a Carhartt material, and uh, it's really nice. It's just not waterproof. And that's why I mean that was the comfort seat that was out when I bought that mower and I upgraded the seat on it. Um, that was the comfort seat. This is Walker. It's stitched into the back seat. It's really nice. But they have a new style comfort seat out now, which I think I've explained this before, um, which is the one that's on my B19. And that one's like, that was all leather. So that's what I think I'll be upgrading this one to um, on the MT. I did order a suspension seat for it. It came in the other day and uh, UPS picked it back up last night to ship it back. I will be touching on that um, in a video coming up here very soon. I will give the verdict on that. Um, I, I got to wait and see how it plays out with this company I bought it from. So we will see.